Al, clearly you you have you are a, an artist who isn't interested in just one art form. As we've discussed, <laughs> you started off even in architecture and you branched into the physical movement arts, and we've talked quite a bit about your <clears throat> work as a, a modern modern choreographer and dancer, um, but also your your interest in the visual aspect of your culture that is associated with the art of calligraphy That's and right. your mastery of Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. now, would you just talk a little I, bit about that? Again, I was very fortunate to have a family, my parents and my grandparents, and ancestry as being part of the very classic Chinese uh, training. And so I grew up with watching my parents doing beautiful calligraphy. Uh, we were uh, reciting Tan Dynasty poetry. We studied all the classics as children. It's part of our upbringing. So even though I went to America and embraced all the Western stuff, but it was in me. And when in the 60s came, and when suddenly I was asked to share teaching with luminaries like Alan Watts and Joseph Campbell and Houston Smith, and they were the, the Western scholars talking about Asian philosophy. And they invite me to be their co-leaders because they knew I had an SS background. So I begin to share the calligraphy and I begin to co-teach the philosophy of Taoism, I Ching. Uh, of course, my background as a Tai Chi child, I, actually I began as a Kung Fu kid. <laughs> but Tai Chi was the basis for the Kung Fu one. And then, and calligraphy is a whole lifetime's training. And uh, it has been my, my uh, discipline. Also, for me, calligraphy is the dance. If you look at the Chinese calligraphy, look at this shirt, this symbol for Tao, which becomes a logo for my foundation, the Living Tao Foundation. And in the show, uh, many people loved it because I introduced it with the support of this e-dream. We were able to see, the, and when I do the calligraphy, we have the calligraphy brushwork blown up in the background, which was a wow for people. They could see the energy. So this is the symbol for Tao. It's a philosophy. So not only aesthetically, calligraphy is a dance. And uh, I always say the Tai Chi dance, you are dancing the Chi. Uh, by doing the movement, you are dancing the visual kinesthetic energy flow. Um, when you watch Tai Chi, you actually can feel the Chi. And when we created the idea of um, qi energy, which was able visually to be seen in the back of me, literally, we technology support that. So people could see my energy coming out through technology, project for them visually to see it. And we thought we must show them the calligraphy. That's why in the show, we allowed the calligraphy bright stroke to be part of this visual image, which was wonderful. Yeah. Everybody talk about how much they loved it. It was beautiful, and there's yeah. something about what you just said that uh, uh, makes me think that when it gets when it gets right down to it, all the way down, um, I think Al, you are you are master artist of being. <laughs> you have mastered the art of being. I tell my grandchildren. Your grandparents still don't know what he really wants to do when he grows up. I have too many interests. <laughs> I was lucky. I, I, I'm fairly good in some things I was interested in, but I'm also old enough to have enough years of practice. And I'm still learning like mad. Uh, as long as you keep learning, you get better. But you reach a certain place, at least you're confident to know that you have plenty of discipline and you can at least show what you should supposed to be seen. And, and the calligraphy part was such a joy it to was. be able to do it. Um, I remember in the beginning, we were, I was trying to request a little, little panel to do it as big as I could with my big brush. <laughs> but, but in the big theater, you can only see this little tiny brush it wouldn't be the same. So we projected through technology, through our support from the e-dream people. We were able to time it, they, they show. This energy happening huge. There was a wow for the people. There was a wow. People wild. just, they, they never forget that. And then later, with, with, with the Saravan, 
that Michael Fitzpatrick was playing, I could use the music to come out and build the chi with my brush, literally. And they can see me do the beautiful calligraphy of Tao Follows Nature from the Tao Te Ching. And as I do this, I, again, I could brush it and then you'll be seen across the background. And people can say, wow, that you can see the chi flow in my body, in my brush, also visually to validate that. And uh, mm. that's what theater is all about. We can make magic. Yes. And, but we, it's not a trick because you have to have what it takes to allow the technology, the theatric effect, to enhance the benefit of what you want to say. Uh, just to have a trick up there, just to show something stunning, doesn't mean it will work. But if they can see the dancer using the brush, literally see the chi coming out of the body, and suddenly out there, it worked. It did indeed. It's, it's a multi-dimensional. Um, Chinese theater is um, total theater, as we know, we study. When I grew up, Beijing theater, you sing, you move, you, you act, you paint, costume, face painting, movement, pantomime, and um, illusion, uh, projection of vision, it's total theater. Um, when I first came to America, I said, well, I want to be a dancer, but I want to use the theater. Uh, and uh, being a Chinese, I couldn't really get any real good parts as Asian in those days. <laughs> so, so, but as a dancer, if I can create my own theater, I can use my total theater experience. So I found that expression Fascinating. On the stage. Absolutely yeah. fascinating. Yeah. Thank you again. Al. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Our pleasure. To find expression.